All right, so let's see uh, if this converges or diverges. According to the divergence test, all we have to do is, let me get this going here. Let's go with yellow. All we have to do is uh, check this limit. Uh, the limit as n goes towards infinity, sometimes I don't even write n goes towards infinity for, because for our series, n always goes towards infinity, of n times sine of one over n. Well, your first attempt may be the plug-in method, and that would give you infinity times sine of zero, which of course would give you infinity times zero, which is a Fabius indeterminate form. So I still don't know what that limit is. I could tweak it a little bit, maybe just a little rewrite. I could say this is a sine of one over n, all over one over n, and now I try the plug-in method, and that would give me zero over zero because now, now I can use a uh, famous L'Hopital, right? And L'Hopital would say that this would be the limit, same limit. Uh, take the derivative of the top would be cosine of 1 over n times uh, negative 1 over n square, um, all over negative 1 over n square. Um, and then this this cancels nicely. Let's use a little red here. Cancels nicely. And now we can try the plug-in method again. And so it would be cosine of one over infinity, which of course would be cosine of zero, which of course would be uh, one. So uh, this limit is is one. Um, that means that this means that the summation, our original summation of n sine 1 over n is a lot like adding a whole bunch of 1's which of course then there's no hope. Uh, 1 is not equal to 0. Um, you could stop right here and say no hope. 1 is not equal to 0 therefore by the divergence test the series diverges and be happy. See, all we have to do is figure out divergence. This looks a lot like just adding a whole bunch of ones. That wasn't so bad, right? Alright, let's try another example. Come back for another example.